Salutations friends and welcome to another video of the free game mode for Spellforce, the Platinum Edition. Okay, so let's load our character and let's see what we've got for today. So the last map was an RPG one, which was this one over here, the Frost Marshes. So now Co-op 15 is basically the Wildland Pass, I think. So yeah, let's go with the Dark Nation since our last RTS map was with the light. So let's go with enemies more and... Who do we start with? Probably... No, not, that's not this map. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, I was skipping forward. Okay, Dark Nations, enemies more. Co-op 15. Okay, the appropriate level is 15, 16, which is where we are now, so we'll be fine. Okay, actually, let's just check out what the recommended level is for the next map. 15? Really? 16, so yeah, well, I think we're in a good direction here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let's go with the orcs. If we always start with the Dark Elves, we are probably guaranteed victory, so let's start with the orcs to give us some challenge. The early stages. Okay, let, let's see if we have any rooms. No, level 10 is already pretty nice. Actually, let's get Ragnar just in case. The Priest Tear. Actually, Jarhel is not that useful. I mean, he is, but we'll leave the archery for the Avatar. Now, Priest Tear, what's his life? Excellent. So probably some healing. We'll take a look at the skills for the avatar later. Okay, an orb. And probably... A shield maybe? Well, nothing that great. Might as well give him a weapon maybe. Whitewood staff. Actually... Yeah, a staff and a shield. Would probably suit him the best. Yeah, so pretty standard early mage. Nothing we can do for him, really. Let's go with this. Plenty of charisma, but actually some wisdom would do nicely as well. Now, Ragna. I imagine she is, yeah, a light fighter. Let's get started with the rings. Yeah, might as well get no, that's intelligence. Actually, one dexterity. It's for helmets, leather cap, and... Actually, no, Wolfguard. Yeah, Wolfguard helmet. As for pants, yeah, leather pants, obviously. Much more armor class and a bit more agility. Obviously, obviously, the wind steel plate. And as for weapons, let's see. Hmm, interesting, but okay, let's get started with the orcs, or else this will take ages. And we'll keep scouting with the avatar. Plenty of wood around, so I don't think that should be a problem. Dark wind. I could just give her two warhammers. But no, let's give her something lighter. So everyone's settled. I need at least eight of you to get started with the wood. Now, who are we facing? Probably orcs? Goblins? Yeah, Not exactly no. sure. So four of you. No, actually eight. Go ahead and collect wood and... What do you have for us? Okay, we have all this. Should I go on should I go on scouting over here? I don't think so. There's the troll monument. We'll just clear this area and go back. There's the Dark Elf monument. Surrounded by iron and stone and Yeah, plenty of stone. Just as you can see, if you play with the Dark Elves, you're pretty much assured victory. Okay, the avatar can go scout up north, so we can see what's over there. 
berries, but that's yeah. useless for the Dark Nations. At least we have basically all of our unit plans. All we are missing are two or three. That's five, six, seven, eight. So that's two unit plans. I'm tired. How are you tired? It didn't do anything. Three raids. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we can bottleneck them here. Fire should do nicely against them. Plenty of those. And here. Plenty of Lenya. Awesome. We'll need to clear all these trees, of course. Okay, you guys you? stop that. Get us a... Woodcutters over here. So we can clear all that. And also, one over here. Let's hope this wood is enough. There's plenty more of it over here. We will just expand and take it. Do I really want to use any other nation aside from the orcs? I don't think so. I think you can do this just with an orc army. Firemasters and totems. I would like to get the veterans, but the spearmen will do. Now, as we are talking of spearmen, I don't see any iron around. Which troubles me. I mean, there's iron over here, but... We would need to secure a border over here. That's pretty far away from the monument. And until I have this entrance here cleared... I don't think I'll expand up there. Actually, the Dark Elves would come and do a lot of the work. Okay, small headquarters as soon as possible. Where the hell do I build it? I'm Probably tired. here. Yeah. Eventually these guys will clear a lot of space over here. Now these three rays, they are kind of in the way. Maybe I should just kill them. Or leave this hideout. So we can farm them. Hmm. Plenty of options. Now I'll have to decide before we start getting gangbanged by enemies. Well, building ready for use. Now, should I just spam woodcutters? Hmm, no. Actually, let's get started with the Lenya as soon as possible. There it is, crop tent. That's almost 5,000 Lenya. Should be sustainable for a while. That's probably what, it, what the crop tent will give us about 5,000. It will keep regenerating, of course. Let's keep getting orcs. Yeah, I think I'll risk it and take out this hideout. And that, yeah, those three rates. And just hold against the hideout. I think the avatar can take them. If not, then I've just made a huge mistake. And I probably have done a huge mistake. How much damage does he do in Berserk? They are level 7, I mean, come on. We're under attack. Can you take him? Oh, of course he can. Holy shit. Okay, never mind. It might not even be worth farming. Hmm. No. Oh, but there is iron over here. Nice, okay. So... Yeah, let's get a woodcutters over here. Okay, There's fine. not that much, but there's some. Let's get the medium headquarters started. That's 200. Shit. Okay, we don't actually have the space for it. Wish we could squeeze it over there. Well, let's just... Build it over here. If the enemy does attack us, I think we can save it. Go right there and help them. Nice. 
Yes. Now let's just safeguard this hideout. Actually, let's go ahead and see if there's any more enemies over here in the west. Would be nice if we only had to worry about the east. That's probably where the majority of the enemy camps are, so... That would suit me. Oh no, yeah. Beastman. Oh shit, okay. Do I want to fight them? Getting rid of them would probably just make me attack the enemy in the east? Actually, two camps. Well... Okay then. That's... That's probably too much for us to handle on two fronts. Nice. Okay. So I need a decent force of, en of units. So maybe a couple of totems would be nice in the early game. We have the Lenya for it. Just not the iron. And let's actually just... Yeah, get the large headquarters right away. It's gonna take ages to build, but... It's worth it. And I think we'll just get rid of the tree rates since... Yeah, they would give us some diversity in experience, but the avatar is already level 16 and the following maps don't really require that much. So let's just worry about the beastmen. That should leave us some more space for building. And more trees, of course. No, what the hell am I doing? Now the five of you... What now? Six. Yeah. Get started with the iron. The mine is pretty large. Okay, Let's hope we can fine. squeeze it over here. Don't need oh, to be that close. What? No. Oh, Do what that now? first. You what? guys okay, help him out. Yeah, it's really not worth it to hold this. Might as well just make a frontier over here and one over here. And that is if we can do that before they start sending out strike parties. I won't leave them that much time to breathe, of course. I will start attacking as soon as I can. That's why I don't think I'll get any more nations. Building ready for use. Actually, not that much wood around here. But you can come here and start clearing all this. Unless... No, really, yeah, that's really not worth it. Now, food store. We should probably use some of these doughs. Yeah, let's get the food store. Get a couple of pig farms going. Pig farms, I mean boar breedings. And one or two hunters should provide a decent amount of food. At least for starters. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, you guys can actually come back. Four miners should be enough. This isn't that much of an iron depot. Building ready for use. Building ready for use. Excellent. Okay. Help build the board lead. And the two of you get your own hunting lodge. Build that. I would actually prefer to build it over there, but let's give him some time to clear the forest. Hmm. Problem is, orc towers are pretty expensive. So, plenty of workers. Maybe, let's just get started with the Shaman's Hut. 
build them up here. Should be safe from any enemy. You can actually get started scouting over there. I think we can get a, a defense group settled to start defending the camp. You can build us a blood shrine over here. It's gonna take you ages to build it, but eventually Work works you'll be finished. Okay, I think it's about time we stop them over there and make them come over here. Work works That's it. All I do. So plenty of space over here to get started with our military buildings. Should probably get this iron as well. Plenty of those as well. Should probably rush these beastmen as soon as possible. Damn wolflings can be tricky, not to mention their black mages. So, upgrade the totem, of course. Upgrade complete. The totem needs a mace carver. You can get two or three of those as soon as possible. Building ready for two, two and... Scared. Yeah, so now that's two mace Work carvers. Works all I do. You can get started with your own forge. Okay, fine. What's this? More trees. Hmm, so over here should be a good spot for our towers. Oh, but hell, they have more iron. But you know what? This one and this one should be enough. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, six of you go there, help him build a forge. And another six, build another forge. Blood Shrine is not even near completion, but we should get 10 totems just in case the Wolflings come at us. Upgrade the Spearman, it's pretty cheap. Upgrade complete. Can't we go to war instead? Building ready for use. Now, I think it's time to get started with towers. Build a couple of them. Not to mention that our towers are level 10. And the enemy is like 7. We should not underestimate them, of course. But that should provide us with a decent advantage. Yeah, they're all weaker than my own units. It's gonna take them ages to arrive, of course. Okay, I think that's okay in terms of wood, but yeah, let's build another woodcutters over here, right in the middle of it. Can't we go to war instead? Everything's upgraded. All that's left is the blood shrine. So eventually we'll get the Fire Master. And their spells will be great against the three Wraiths and the Beastmen. So many berries. Seems like a good map for just an elf faction. Upgrade to 15, get a couple of spearmen. Three of you? What the? Okay, since you don't want to do that, let's go ahead and help with the building of the Blood Shrine. Eventually I want this iron as well. So five towers with the Avatar should be more than enough to hold this spot. And our army will go ahead and circle around to kill the wolflings when we eventually get strong enough what a 
I'm on it. Uh, can't we go to war instead? Damn, that blood shrine takes ages. Okay, 15 of you. Forwards, forwards. Yep, forwards. Go there. Shouldn't be long before they start sending out scouts. I would like to get level 17, but... I really don't feel like farming. Ready for use. I know you guys like it, and I kind of do as well, but... It just takes so long. Not to mention the time it takes me to render and, well, edit. I really don't want to spend another hour farming. There'll be better maps to do so. So, the four of you, what can we do? Hall of Glory, maybe? So we can get a couple of drummers? I mean, they're cheap. Well, not that cheap in wood. But no, yeah, let's get started with more boar readings. Two of you. Yes. No, nope, just two. With hunting. Is there fish around here? No. Well, that's... There is fish. 700. Hmm. I should get advantage. Take advantage of that. Hunting Lodge. So. Well, the other yes. four will build another. You get us a boar breeding. Where? And you get us another fire starter, and that should be enough. Okay, fine. Eventually our, res our food will pick up. Same with our Lenya, there's still 3,000, more than enough for a decent army. Not that much use. iron left, but we have this reserve. So yeah, we're safe. You guys need a much more forested area. Where will I send you? Actually, you will get started with fishing. Get us a food store as close as possible. There. I don't think we'll worry too much about them. I'll attack this one, but as for the rest, I really won't bother. We're under attack. Oh man, the damage of the towers. Let's see how well the orcs fare against one wolfly. Not that bad, but I was expecting. Expecting better results. Come We're on, can do it. Maybe another tower wouldn't be such a bad idea. Or... Yeah, maybe not. So now the attacks have officially started. Four of you. Hmm. Still quite a few of them left. So let's get six of you and take advantage of that item. If things go badly, we can just spam out spearmen. Not to mention, we have upgraded the fire master. So I want to get started pumping out a group of them. And of Titan, of course. Where? As for fishermen... Yes. Three. Three should be enough. Let's hope we can get it there. Okay, fine. Let's hope they can reach it. I don't think we'll invest in any any more food. I think that's enough. What we could do is is nothing really. Just wait for resources. I won't build any more military buildings. I don't think it's really worth it to build towers up here since 
The wolflings will be our first target. Might as well just focus Where over else? here. Get any no remaining workers to just repair the towers works all I do. if things go badly. Now, five of you boys. We could wait for them. 20 minutes should be enough for farming. I mean, come on. Stand by me. I'm not really seeing that much of an experience increase. Firemasters take a bit longer to recruit, but I'll just wait. So three workers for repairs seems it like seems like it's enough. Nine damage for melee, really not that much. We do have two food stores, so their regeneration should be faster. Doesn't seem like it, but I think it is. Yeah, it is a little bit. They should have time to rest between raids. Now, let's get our fire masters. And we eventually get our titan. Hold. Oh, Nearly depleted our linear. We'll just have to wait. There's probably linear down here. No? Just iron? Oh well. It'll be enough. We just have to be patient. Now, join the group. As always, the totem spam is effective as hell. Still quite a bit of iron there. So yeah, there's really not that much to do besides waiting. Let's try and provoke an attack from the three wraiths, or at least provoke them to start spamming out a lot more units. Come on. Damn, you're ugly. For a level 7 unit, you are tanky. Okay, we are almost at enough Lenya to get the Titan. I think we'll get him. He will lead the charge against the Wolflings. Maybe we'll get just more, a couple more Spearmen. We do have plenty of wood, so fighters maybe? But the Fishers do take ages. Nice, there it is. I could get two Titans, but that's not gonna be enough. I mean, that's gonna be enough. It's really not that worth it to spend those amount of resources. fire damage. Well, that's something. We have five. Let's get five more. We do need melee. When the enemy raids eventually start getting larger. Oh, they're just sending lone patrols. Might as well get them into hold position and they'll fire at anything that comes through, through there. Don't think I'll wait until we have 80 unit limit, come on. I mean, 30 units should be enough to finish this. But it is frustrating, I mean, experience hasn't gone up for quite a while now. I smell blood. Run! Yeah, go ahead and call some of your friends. You can do the same. 
but he just keeps coming. And he's gonna get killed. Go on, I'm not gonna kill you. I love the way your towers are just designed. Just basic ladders, a couple of hides to cover up all that... Well, the top of the tower. And just throw fire things at the enemy. I mean, people call this like a Warcraft clone. I mean, Spellforce franchise. I really don't see it. I mean, there are some references to Warcraft. But the resemblance is more like to Warhammer. I mean, with the beastmen and the trolls and, th and things. Yeah, I see a lot of similarities there. That's probably just because I'm a huge Warhammer yeah. fan. Where's the enemy? Okay, the Spearman can stay back there. You're alone? Yeah, so I really don't care. Finally, yes. we have our Titan. Yes. He can go there. And you can start annihilating the Beastman. I mean, yeah, not to... I'm not trying to shit on Warcraft. I love it, but... Comparing Spellforce to Warcraft 3 really isn't fair, in my opinion. Well, in Warcraft you have your missions to complete, and when you do destroy the enemy base and, so and stuff... Well, the map just basically ends. In Spellforce it's kind of like an RPG RTS open world, since you can go anywhere. It's really something unique. Okay, more totem spam. But they're both great franchises. But yeah, I think there's a lot of Warhammer in Spellforce. Might just be me, but I think there is. And yeah, aside from, not to mention, Warhammer games, there's not that many fantasy RTS going around. You guys follow him, he will lead the charge, since they're already attacking. We'll try and see if he gains any experience. Shit, those damn black mages. Four of them. Damn. Well, the beastmen are... Can deal... The spearmen can deal with their loss. The titan, not so much. Okay, there was a tiny increase in experience there. Tiny. I mean, even the way the Titan looks, it just looks like a demon of corn, doesn't it? For those of you that do understand about the Warhammer universe. I think Spellforce does its own thing so well. I mean, not even Warcraft gives you this amount of freedom. But yeah, I know the game may seem broken at times, but the possibilities are endless. The way you can customize your avatar. And not to mention your armies and your towns. That was something. Increase of experience. Okay, so that might be a problem. Holy shit. Okay, let's not underestimate it. And kill as many as possible. Oh shit, Black Mage. Stay with me, man. Kill him, please. Come on. Come on. No, yeah, just get away. Get out of the there. Must hold. So yeah, never underestimate your enemy. 
Holy shit, the Lucian are nothing to do. Okay, preserved. Black Mage first, please. Enemies beware. Phew, okay, that was close. Too close. Now the three rates should be next. Okay, guys, come on. You can go ahead and scout over here. But the Titan will have to come back here before the Avatar gets killed. Please come back here and repair these towers. But yeah, people get caught up in the battle of who's the best franchise, Warcraft, Warhammer or Spellforce. Well, I love them all. Without them, there would be no fantasy games. In RTS, at least. Shame that Blizzard just won't... Just... Well, they have World of Warcraft, they're not gonna leave that anytime soon. But a new Warcraft would be something really amazing. They did continue the story in World of Warcraft, but that's really not something I really loved about it. I mean, the, the game was an RTS game, and they could have had both. But, oh well. World of Warcraft does have its merits, but... War Warcraft fans have been, well, hungry for an RTS for quite a while now. Not to mention those type of games are probably dead. I mean, just look at the amount of campaigns you have in Spellforce 3. Spellforce, I mean Warcraft 3. Basically, aside from Spellforce 3, there's not that many games like that anymore, with a long campaign. Normally, they just focus on the multiplayer and screw the campaign. Which is why I love Spellforce so much. I do like Spellforce 3, but this one's still the greatest. I mean, I can play the campaign, all of them, all the campaigns, for years and years and not get tired of them. Okay, let's get 40. That should be enough to assault the enemy. Let's get five fire masters and just spam more beast more spearmen. Why am I calling them beastmen? Hmm. That's it. So yeah, aside from a couple of other games, there's some of them, but I really don't have any of them at the top of my head to mention. I mean, there's another another game I've been playing for quite some time now, an indie, indie game called Northgard. Quite enjoy it, but it's really not the same. It's a nice RTS with like city management options, but something like this, this type of gameplay. Aside from Spellforce 3, there's really not that much. I mean, there's Warhammer Total War, if you do enjoy it. I do as well. But yeah, this type of game, it's never gonna return. Unless, well, developers like Grimoire Games do decide to bring them back. And when Blizzard eventually decides to do another Warcraft, it's gonna be... Probably never. Stay with me, man. Come on, kill him. Nice. So let's bolster our forces. You follow the Titan. I am ready. And we'll command the both of you. Let's go. Into battle Holy we go. Shit, the amount of three rates. The fire master should make quick work of them. Did get some experience. 
I mean, even Grimlore games with Spellforce 3 expanded the lore a lot more than the other Dawn and the expansions. So there go the three wraiths. Follow me. Go ahead and clear the rest of the map. And I'm a huge sucker for Let's fantasy go. lore. Whether it is Warhammer, Warcraft, or Spellforce. But I'm kind of biased to Spellforce, I mean. It's my f now. probably my favorite game from Quickly my childhood. Now. Okay, any Black Mages? No. It can take you. Yes, we're under attack. The army can handle that. Let's see any towers. Shit, there are. Have to draw them out and then take out take out the towers. Quickly now. Can do that by you guys stay back here. We'll fire a shot at this black mage. Here. Oh shit, that's enemies beware. No need to. Just get back. It's an ambush. Really? You're just fine one shot. We're under attack. Destiny away. Attack. Well, Destiny. Shit, I hate it when this happens. Here. Okay, forty. Hopefully we can kill the towers before they kill us. Yes. Unless the Titan gets killed by the fire. Hopefully he doesn't. Kill these damn black mages. Two damage isn't that much. This is pro. Oh, okay, so I f I'm getting war flashbacks from the Wildland Pass with the tower spam from Brannigan. Such an awesome map. On my battle we go. It was such a challenging campaign when I first played it. But now, once you get the hold of the all the tricks, it's pretty easy. I mean, you can still make horrible mistakes and get defeated. Black mages are the priority. Yes. At arms, men. All of you follow him. Destiny awaits. Matar can probably take one or two shots. Follow me. Let's just keep moving. Forwards. Shouldn't be that many left. So yeah, we could farm them, but just look at it. We got like, not even a third. Yeah, so really not worth it to farm Forwards. this map. We'll see what the next maps have to offer. Quickly now. Still have a ton of them to do. Quickly now. To adventure. Hold there, while we scout. We'll try and lure them towards us. Kill that filthy black mage first. Stay with me, man. Holy shit. Yeah, no. Just just no. I am ready. It's the battle we go. For our near. 
Stay with me, man. Here. Into battle we go. I'm surprised I haven't lost a single orc. So yeah, you can't underestimate the orc army, but they have some pretty damn great units. The spearmen aren't that impressive, but in hordes, they can do great. But yeah, the veteran is just Quickly now. too good not to use. Quickly now. On my command. For the order. if we could get halfway to level 17, but I don't think that will happen. Okay, this yes. camp is finished, let's Forwards. just keep going. Oh, that poor wolfling. I am ready. This is also nice, so the video will be shorter. I mean, it's probably gonna be an hour anyway. Let's go. But shorter, as in... My videos are probably all of them like what, one hour and a half. Some of them even two hours. Is this over here? Oh, for a moment I thought they were over here. Kill my titan. Scout with the Avatar. So yeah, I was talking with a friend that the comparison people make comparisons people make with Warcraft and Spellforce and they completely Yeah, they just don't mention Warhammer and there's a lot of resemblance there. Yes, At the end of the day, they're all just pretty much, well, fantasy. They all bring something on from the Lord of the Rings and such. Such an awesome unit model. Okay. So this is the last camp of the Wolflings. What? I sense them! Beware. We'll have a proper fight here. Lure them out. And the Titan and the Avatar. Nope, oh, stay just me. Man. Wait, don't get killed now. Well, there won't be a proper battle because they fled. Plenty of loot, not that it is that great, but better than nothing. Come on guys, go at this one as well. And that's that's it. There goes the free game mode. And the Wildland Pass. I mean, this, sh this is probably one of the easiest maps in free game to play with the Dark Elves. They start with everything over here. Plenty of stone, plenty of iron. Just get a fungus farm and you're done. But with the orcs, it was a wasn't even a challenge, I mean, come on. But yeah, I don't think we left out any loot. So this way, it will be a nice and short video. Like an hour long, but short anyway. So yeah, there it is.
So, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching the video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.